guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Jessica. I am a first time mom to a 13 month old named Charlotte. I post motherhood and lifestyle videos here on my channel. So tips that I've learned as a first time mom, cleaning and organization, grocery hauls, things like that. So if you're interested in those types of videos, please hit that subscribe button down below. We would love to have you. In today's video, I wanted to talk about all the things that they don't tell you about breastfeeding. So these are things that I definitely didn't know when I started my breastfeeding journey. And let me tell you a journey it has been. I am still nursing my 13 month old. However, we are starting the weaning process now. So stay tuned for that video because it's a challenge. I've just learned so much in these past 13 months about breastfeeding. I just wanted to share everything for moms to be who may be considering breastfeeding or new moms who are just starting their breastfeeding journeys. The first thing I didn't realize about breastfeeding is just how time consuming it really is. I knew in general that babies, especially in the first few months, needed to feed frequently. So meaning every two to three hours. But what I didn't realize is how long an individual nursing session actually lasts. You could be nursing your baby for anywhere between 20 to 60 minutes in one session, especially in the first couple months. While you're working on building your supply and the baby is learning, it could last a very long time. Another thing I didn't realize is that you start counting your two to three hours from the beginning of your nursing session, not the time you finish. So for example, if you start nursing your baby at 11 a.m., you would count your two to three hours from the start of your session. So you would count two to three hours from 11 a.m. So that would bring you to about one to two o'clock that you would need to nurse again. So the thing about this is what makes it so time consuming is the fact that if your nursing session has lasted 60 minutes, you technically only have an hour, roughly an hour to an hour and a half before you have to nurse again. So it really doesn't give you much time between. Piggybacking on the point of nursing being time consuming, I also didn't know about cluster feeding. In the beginning, especially leading up to my milk coming in, Charlotte was constantly wanting to nurse, especially through the night. So I was up all night for the first few nights just nursing her all night long. I started doing some research and I realized that she was cluster feeding. This typically happens when the baby goes through a growth spurt in the early days. However, I will say it's not just in the early days. It lasts for a few months. Cluster feeding can happen for your whole nursing journey, just depending on the baby. But the pediatrician also explained to me that babies kind of have like an instinct to get your milk to come in. So basically they realized that, hey, if I nurse more, that means more milk. So at the beginning, she was cluster feeding because she was trying to get my milk to come in. This was her way of signaling to my body that she needed more milk. She also mentioned that night two after you have your baby is generally always the hardest. That is usually when most moms are up all night with their baby. So night one, they kind of give you like that honeymoon phase, but night two, they're right to it, trying to get that milk to come in. Let's talk about those first few days while you're waiting for your milk to come in. So I'm sure you've heard or you know that the first milk that you get is called colostrum. So basically that is like a yellowish fluid that comes from your breasts. Um, and that is packed with nutrients that are so beneficial to the baby. And so that's what you'll probably get for the first couple of days before your milk come in, comes in. What I didn't know though, is how long it can actually take for your milk to come in. So basically what happened in my experience was that it took my milk five days to come in. And I was wondering why Charlotte was constantly cluster feeding, why she wasn't seeming satisfied after nursing her for an hour. I didn't know what was happening. So again, the pediatrician told me that for some women, it just can take a long time to for their milk to come in. At the time, I didn't have everything that I needed for my pump, so I wasn't able to pump, but that was one, that, one of the recommendations that she did give me. If you pump when you're not nursing, it just helps your body signal that your milk needs to come in, baby wants this milk. After the first few days, we started supplementing with formula, and then finally, my milk came in, what a difference. Charlotte finally seemed like she was satisfied and all was good. I just don't always expect your milk to come in within the first few days. So something else that I didn't realize, which may seem a little bit silly to some, but I didn't realize that babies don't naturally know what to do. So what I mean by this is, you know, you have your baby, you put them on your breast, you expect them to know exactly what to do. That's not the case. Just like you, babies have to learn to nurse too. 
So I had a lot of trouble in the beginning with latching and I honestly expected it to be so easy. It was so hard and overwhelming for me to figure this out. And it was probably the first month that I really struggled with breastfeeding. I expected this experience to just be a natural experience, something we would both would get like at the snap of our fingers. And that just wasn't the case. And that's okay. I finally reached out to a lactation consultant and she was so helpful. Charlotte and I learned together how to nurse and even though it was super challenging at the beginning, we finally did it. So don't be surprised if your baby doesn't know what to do because there are, they are entering this new world not knowing a thing and you just have to learn together. Something I also learned while I was seeing the lactation consultant was that there are various different positions that you can actually breastfeed in. So of course, the most common one is probably the cradle hold. So that is what I was doing with Charlotte. I was wondering why the heck it wasn't working on one side, but it was working on the other side, why she was able to latch on one side, but she wasn't able to latch on the other side. So the lactation consultant actually recommended that I try a football hold. So I tried the football hold on the side that she wasn't latching on, and it worked. Basically, I guess just something about the angle in that position, she was able to latch on a lot easier and it made our nursing sessions go so much smoother. Basically, at the beginning, I had to use a different position for both sides, but it ended up working so much better. It removed a lot of the difficulty that we had with nursing. So definitely research those different positions and figure out what works best for you and your baby. And don't be surprised if they want a different position on both sides. So the last thing that I can think of that that I had no idea about was nursing strikes. So who knew a baby could go on a nursing strike? Basically around three and a half, four months old, I had given Charlotte a bottle of pumped breast milk for whatever reason, can't remember now. Um, but after that, she just would not latch. She did not want to be breastfed. She cried and threw a fit every time I would try to nurse her. It made me feel so bad. Of course, I was, all these thoughts were going through my mind. Is my milk drying up? Is she too attached to the bottle now? She just wants the bottle. Oh my gosh, our bond is gonna be broken. All these crazy things. I did my research. All I kept seeing was nursing strike, nursing strike, nursing strike. But I didn't actually understand what that meant. So I called up the lactation consultant and she explained to me that a lot of the time after the mom offers a baby the bottle sometimes, they will go on a nursing strike and it's just a temporary strike against nursing. She said it happens a lot because they like that they don't have to work to drink from the bottle. I mean, who wants to work for their food when they can get it so much easier? So she recommended that I try something called paste bottle feeding. So basically what that is, is you just put the baby in an upright position. You tip the bottle so it's just parallel with the ground. And you just put like a little bit of milk in the nipple. And basically the idea is that the baby is drinking at their own pace, which means that they need to suck to get it out. So this helped so much. And Charlotte was back to nursing within a couple days. So that is my last tip for what they don't tell you about nursing. I hope you guys were able to get some ideas from this video. I am currently weaning, so stay tuned for a all about weaning video. It is definitely not easy. Turn on the bell notifications if you are interested in seeing that because that is going to be coming soon, hopefully. I also am going to be posting a breastfeeding essentials video if that's something you guys are interested in. So again, make sure you're subscribed and turn on the bell so you can see as soon as I post that video. That'll be all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.